It might seem crazy what I'm about to say, but music can change your emotions. Stay tuned. So imagine, here's, there's so much traffic today going on and you are stuck in traffic. It is, the line is going all the way down the freeway. But all of a sudden, your favorite song comes on the radio. What do you do? For many of us, we get into that song, man, we roll the windows down, we crank up the volume and we start singing that song. And all of a sudden, we forget that we're irritated. We forget that we're stuck. And we look at the people around us and then we go, pretty good song. Yeah. You just went through an emotional shift because music can change your state. Music can change your emotions. Yeah, it's not me saying this. There have been psychologists have been studying the power of music for decades. Music, a sad song, can really help you when you just had that big breakup and you put on a sad song and it makes you cry. Crying gets you in touch with your emotions. Once you get that cry out, you know what? You feel better. So music can help us when we're sad. And music can help us to get us excited, to get us happy, because music transforms our emotions. It boosts our happiness. One of the things that I talk about quite a bit is our energy, because I believe that it's not that we manage our time, but it's how we manage our energy. And what we are finding is when you've been working, when you've been on a project for hours, if you put on a song, if you put on a great song, a song that you enjoy, and you even maybe put a little motion into it and you start dancing because music activates us, you immediately grow your energy. Music can raise our energy level. So besides helping us with stress, besides making us happier, it actually can help us be more productive by raising our energy level. They say that music triggers your activation. Music can be the key to your success. Let me tell you why I have a story to share about music and how it changed an entire team. Many, many years ago, when I first started speaking, one of my clients was the sales team for the Houston Rockets. These were all young people. I guess they were called millennials back then, but they were very, very young. And they were responsible for selling the group tickets for the Houston Rockets. These were the big, the big packages. And they brought me in to help them manage their emotions because when they didn't have a sale, they would get very sad and they would get very depressed. What we came up with, because they all love music and they all had their phones, was we created playlists. We created two playlists for them. One playlist was to get them out of the funk. When they were in a funk, they would play these songs and it would raise their energy. They would be more positive going back to the sale. But the other playlist was a celebration playlist because once they made the sale, they had so much energy and then they had to share it, but they couldn't do it because everybody was on the phone. So they would take their playlist out into the hall and they would dance and they would do a celebration dance. It worked. They brought me back two, three years in a row and we continued to make the playlist. One of the, one of the guys was with me all three years and he had an interesting uh, anecdote to the story. He said that he saw the power of playlists so much that he decided to make a morning playlist. And he would hit the playlist as soon as he woke up every morning. And every time he heard a song, he said, oh yeah, I need to be brushing my teeth right now. Because he had that song when he was brushing his teeth, when he was eating breakfast. And he said, when that last song played and I was walking out the door, he said, yeah, I was gonna start a successful day. So music can change your state and it can help you be more successful. Get your playlist and listen up to some more music. Hey guys, it's Karen McCullough with another lesson from the road.